Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Medieval, the remake that they've made recently. <laughs> so, last time we were getting all nostalgic. Let's go straight into the Hilltop Mausoleum. This is technically the first boss level. Um, okay. There we go. So yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting level. I love the music, once again. Oh, these guys. I forgot about these guys. I hate these guys. <laughs> these little bastards. These little... Some of these little gremlin guys, whatever. Oh, what are they called, actually? What do they refer to them as? Imps. They're imps. Yeah, yeah. Little imp bastards. The ones without torches. They, um... Oh, these ones are just running from me. That's weird. <laughs> Normally they run directly at you with their little flames. They don't do much damage usually, but uh, they're very annoying. <laughs> um, the ones without torches, they uh, have they have no torch because they're running at you to grab your weapon off of you. <laughs> As I was saying, this is the first like boss level. The boss is through here, but we can't see him yet. Well, we can, but we can't. <laughs> so the ones without the torches, they uh, they run up to you and they steal your steal your weapon, whatever weapon you currently have. One of these has has a prize in it. One or more of these has a prize in it. Oh my god, get down there! <laughs> uh, and then one has like, there we go. I knew it. That one there, the one that's glowing, has something else in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one. Uh, <laughs> have, have I got everything? I think I've got everything so far. Whee! <laughs> it's the way to go. Yeah. There's lots of, like, themes of, like, stained glass and stuff like that. So yeah, they, they appear to run away a lot, these guys. They like run away and then they come at you. With their flames. <laughs> oh, I do love the music. In all of these. So yeah, this level actually does I think does a pretty good job of like introducing the themes of the level for later purposes. Then again, I think, I personally think this game is a masterclass in style. Style and design. Oh god, I forgot to get this. Uh, <laughs> but then it has some things like, some of the game design uh, principles, they're really old school stuff. Like they're, you can do a lot better these days, like. All I know is that my brother, my brother started playing this before, well he played the demo, he played the demo of this game. And he was saying that, um, he found that some of the mechanics in this felt like they hadn't been updated from the original. So, you know, it's not always a good thing. <laughs> like, as in, like, they they still felt bad because of their old, mecha old style mechanics, you know? Oh, I ran into that by accident. Ran into the shards. Oh, I can get back up here, can't I? Maybe not. I think I have to go back round. Oh no, he stole my weapon! Oh, thank god. I got it back. <laughs> See, that, that little bastard freaking took my weapon. Give me that back achievement, yeah. And they, um, they steal it and they run into these little holes here. And once, once they run into this little hole, they're gone. They've taken your weapon. If it's a weapon that you... You know, that's not just a weapon you can get ammo for and get back. Uh, then, oh, I need the red one. If, yeah, if it's something, if it's something you have to, if it's like a full-on weapon, like if it's the sword, for instance, you don't get the sword again, you know. Um, there's another one up here. Hey, there he is. Oh, he did it again. Bastard. I got it back. <laughs> I'm too good. <sighs> yeah, they don't have some of the sound effects that I used to like. Like the, <sighs> there's like a sigh sound effect that Dan used to always make when getting to full health. Uh, I'll grab that. Uh, give me that. There we are. So now I can go back and open up the moon rune door. Let's 
grab this. So I can also go back and open up the red moon door. Yeah, there's a little shop here. If your weapon gets stolen, it appears in this shop. <laughs> so any weapon that you've had stolen from you and, and is gone, uh, yeah, it'll it'll be uh, here. It'll be in one of these stores. <laughs> the idea is that the imps take it and they sell it. <laughs> these guys are like the shady, dodgy salespeople. So this musician guy can't play his song properly. He's all frustrated because he can't finish his song. Uh, this is going to tell you a secret, like tell you how to get this door open, no doubt. We don't need to see it. We already know. <laughs> we know how to do it. Yeah, now we open up a shortcut. Actually, should we go... No, we'll go to the blue one first. Go back here. And uh, we can now go into the blue moon door over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't yet have dash unlocked, which kind of sucks. Get rid of this guy. Come back here. <laughs> grab this really quickly, the energy vial, and then grab sheet music. Run! <laughs> the floor is collapsing. <laughs> yeah. Once you get the sheet music, you know what to do. Actually, before we go in the red door, we should go grab, do the sheet music thing. Open inventory, use this. You give him the sheet music, because he's missing some sheet music. <laughs> yeah, there's the chalice. It made him happy. See, wait, wait, wait. The would-be phantom longs to play a new Oh, he wants a new tune. But he seems doomed to repeat the same cause of despair over and over. Yeah, so that's a little hint as to how to get this open uh, and get access to the chalice. But now that we've done everything, we've got the chalice. The chalice is like the most important thing other than finishing the level. So um, once you get the chalice, uh, you can go back this way. Open up this door. Use the chaos rune. Uh, and then you just push against this to push it. I think you used to have to hold triangle. Or no, R1. You used to have to hold R1 to push. Or whatever the shield button is. And you put it underneath this. Shatter this like Heartstone. And it releases like a soul of some kind. <laughs> okay. Uh, open this up. Some more throwing daggers. Oh god. <laughs> I walked into that. Thankfully there's a vent upstairs. To some degree the music is dynamic. Which is awesome. I love the music in this game so much. Yeah, you walk into the where the soul is. The multicolored soul. And, uh. <laughs> yeah. I should have prepared for this properly. I forgot. <laughs> you kind of need long range weapons. Uh, let's go to. Let's equip this as the secondary weapon. Yeah, it's as hard as the only vulnerable point. I forgot that you had to like jump that. Well, you can block it as well. Oh, oh, oh. No, there we go. Ow. Oh God. It's a little laggy for my poor crack normal PS4. It probably would run better if I was on, uh, <laughs> Probably run better if it was on PS4 Pro. Uh, uh, yeah, so you gotta shoot at his heart when he's got it exposed. Ah! No, no, no. No, no. Oh, thank you. Uh. <laughs> Come at me, brah. Come at me. <laughs> Catch these ankles. Oh, catch his hands. <laughs> uh, okay. No, get round, get round. No! Aiming is really hard. 
Oh. Uh, my shield took the brunt. Oh god, I can't see what I'm doing. Get on that side of the arena. I don't know why the, the camera's fixed here. Originally in the first game it was always sit at the door. There we go. Oh god. You can try and block it, but you lose all your shield if you do that. And it's best to keep your shield for when he does the, like, circle attack. The, or, like, the field attack. Okay. Reveal your heart. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's not as satisfying as the original. The original because he was made of polygons, like a painful demise. Yeah, <laughs> because in the original he was like a, he's a stained glass demon. He, each piece of him was a piece of stained glass, you know, and so when he dies he like shatters into all those individual pieces. There's like a for every piece of him, there's like a triangle, you know, and it just all shatters all over the floor. I thought that was really... The way it was originally done was really cool. We could have done the sheet music thing now, but I just wanted to do it right away before we fought the boss. Uh, let's get out of here. Mm. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any... We haven't unlocked the upper floor yet. We'll get to the upper floor later. See, actually, the upper floor isn't... We can't even access it yet. Uh, the upper floor stairwells are just, like, ethereal. <laughs> just move straight through them. Once again, I feel like those used to be less visible. And it used to be a bit lo more like, um... Like how our statue is, was also less visible. Uh... Yeah, it's, I don't know. Weird. Uh, whatever the case, let's speak to this guy. Fortescue, what's this I hear about that archcad Zarok still being alive? Thought killed the fella. I love the statues. <laughs> no, no. Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you <laughs> doing for weapons? Yeah. Yeah, I only have like a couple. Yeah. Take my war hammer. Yeah. It'll smash anything and it it's... won't fall apart like a club. Yeah, I already. Pity. Use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> yeah. Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Not <laughs> a few heads for old Stanyer Iron Hewer, eh? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we unlock the hammer. It's just known as hammer. So this basically replaces the club. We know... The only thing the club's still good for now is we can light it on fire and and set things on fire. You can't do that with a hammer, but the hammer is just better than the club in every way. You can if you charge it up, you can like do a, a special charged attack. The club you can't do that. The club when you press circle, he puts it out. He like holds it out for to set things on fire. For the most part, in terms of attacking, we've now replaced the club with a permanent hammer. Yeah. Oopsies. Nope. I accidentally hit no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did it select no the first time and then yes the second time? <laughs> God damn it. Alrighty. Yeah, I believe. Is this the return to level? Return to graveyard? <laughs> yeah, return to the graveyard. Let's go here. Interestingly, there are. The bosses aren't listed out or laid out the same way you would expect from like other games. I believe there's a boss in this level as well. There's the bot, there's like the, the guardians of the graveyard. Yeah, the graveyard guardians, says right here. <laughs> they have a thing for burying bones. <laughs> and this is basically, oh, oh God, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, this is way slower. Wow, this hammer is so much slower. That's fascinating. Maybe they made the- maybe they nerfed the hammer. Because it does- it does attack slower now. And when you let go of it... Oh, it worked that time. Weird. It wasn't working before. Um... You gotta be careful of this. This will fall. 
Yeah, why is it? It's weird. Okay, let's switch back to my sword. I'm gonna die if I don't. Eh. No! <laughs> I drowned! <laughs> Shit. Yeah, if you fall in water, you drown. I want to do the secret. Yeah. One second, let's go back over to the other side. And uh, be really careful about this. It's super hard to land. Okay. Oh, what the? I landed right on that. Is that not a secret anymore? There's a secret through there. Is that not a thing anymore? I'll, I'll just keep going. One second. I'll keep... Oh, that was close. Oh, I love the music so much. <laughs> Damn right. There was definitely... In the original game, there's a secret by hopping on the graves and, and flowing down the river. That way. It might not be a secret anymore. They might have removed it. <laughs> These guys are fr annoying. If I can get them from up here, I will. <laughs> they keep falling over. Oh god, ow, ow, ow. There we are. Ooh. So yeah, we're basically just going backwards through the same graveyard level for now, but it, it changes in a bit. Ow, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Alright. <laughs> Dizzy Decimator. Yeah. That's the thing, I used it. Oh god. Ow! <laughs> Fuck. Man, I'm taking a beating in this level. Be it the changed secret or the freaking enemies. That's something that must be said. This game is not an easy game. <laughs> that doesn't hurt you, but it hurts enemies. And it, but it pushes everything back. Which I always thought was clever. Uh, clever mechanic. Let's open this up. Oh, we got the silver shield. Yay! <laughs> it's a better shield. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god, no, no. Oh. Yeah, we need to get some health. Oh, actually, let's just check this guy. Let's see what he sells now. Okay, same deal, same deal as before. I'm concerned about that, that river boat. <laughs> the coffin ride through the river. That was definitely a secret in the original. Actually, I believe the, um... These little bastards. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, the little hands. That's just mean. Yeah. You can you can smash them for coins, I believe. You get a single coin from them. But also, uh, in the second game, they play a way bigger role. And this is they're just there to be like a funny extra little enemy type. It's not an enemy, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just a thing that you can attack. Let's just use that really quick. Let's just knock these guys out from a distance. <laughs> Let's just do that. Okay. Basically now this this door is open because we have the skull key. Which is something we got from the mausoleum. The stained glass demon had it. And now we have like this end of the graveyard open. But before we go that way, let's go back a little bit. We have to go through the secret, I believe, to get back to that side of the level. And if we're able to get to that other side of the um, the river, then uh, it'll be via this method, I think. Maybe you can't go back that way. Whatever the case, let's fill our life bottles. We're not going to be able to fill all of them. Yeah, see, I filled, I filled up those two. Uh, I don't think I can actually get across that way. No, I don't think I can actually get back that way. Which is that's alright. I don't believe I don't believe you could before. I was just misremembering. No <laughs> There's gold up there, so you definitely can get across there. How come I couldn't land on the coffin? When I tried before, it didn't work. 
I go straight through the coffin. I'll try one more time. Everyone's seeing this, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not crazy. See, so yeah, I'll try one more time. Oh, it worked that time. Why did it work that time? <laughs> oh, I'm mad. <laughs> mad about that. Oh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I freaking knew it. All that money. What's this? Who's a clever skeleton, <laughs> then? Damn right. Remember that there are many more secret areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything that valuable here. But I wanted to prove my point. <laughs> it's just some money. Uh, yeah. But we got a ton of money from that. Not that money is all that useful, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's go into the new part of the graveyard. Oh. So now we got friggin' wolves, which are a pain in the neck. Wolves in games, always. Dog slash wolves, always so infuriating. Anything that moves faster than you do, you know? Oh god, where is he? You can guess what the what the boss of this level is gonna be. <laughs> Ow. Thankfully they're actually not as relentless as uh, they were in the original. They've actually toned them down a little. Which is good, they were very frustrating in the original. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab this and deal with the. Oh no! No onslaught of zombies. Get the dog before he gets up. <laughs> it's my strategy. So we're at an impasse. We can't go over here. How will we do? Well, <laughs> if you go around here. Back through to this door, we'll uh, solve our problem. Eventually. Another energy vial. Not that I needed it. Here's the chalice. But we can't get it. Soon, my pretty. Huh? <laughs> He's down there. Come back here, you. Taste my blade. Uh. <laughs> Damn right. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there were more of them. <laughs> For some reason I thought it was only one per column. Yay, we got the chin up of the chalice. Yeah. <laughs> God, they do so much damage. Oh, we could just do this. And then he didn't even hit my shield. <laughs> that bastard. Oh. I don't know if they've got a new voice actor for Daniel Fortescue. It's hard to tell because all of his... All of his noises are just noises, you know? <laughs> but I feel like they've, they've not got some of the old noises, but they've got different noises. Like, they don't have, um... Oh, I was in the wall. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, yeah, they have a few different like noises. Yeah, it sounds like they've redone some of his his sound. Oh, no, no. Damn right. <laughs> that was weird. But like, there are a few of those noises that he, he no longer makes, which is kind of sad. Whenever he would die, he always makes this like. <laughs> I can't do it justice. Uh, but there was this humorous noise that he would always make. And whenever he was hopping, he makes slightly more generic jumping noises in this game. And there was this very like typical medieval like sound that used to play <laughs> when he would jump. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 stop. Eh. Grab that really quick. 
get the vial. Seeing as I'm down a little bit on health. Just a tiny bit. And then push this to our... Into our way. Alrighty. Now we can actually just hop straight down from here. You actually don't need to push all three of them. Since we went to the right... Oh, no. Nope. Oh, damn it. I just lost a life. Right before the boss. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, if you're, if you're on the right and you push the right hand most block down, you can just jump straight onto that block. And then you don't have to then you don't have to parkour. Please fill up my life bottle. Damn right. Okay. Let's uh let's do this. Yeah. The statues come to life. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> He always makes that like, oh. they're like ethereal until you, until, oh, that still hurt me, ow. It might have been just because I hit the wall. Yeah, they're a little tough to hit. You've basically got to do the like, you've got to um, joust. There we go. You're going to walk alongside their ghost and then hit them with this. It would be quite tough to do. Ah, oh, he hit me though. I hit him, but he hit me. There we go. Got him. Yes. Oh, he hit me. Ow. I think we got this though. <laughs> oh, they're going together. That's not how they used to do. That's new behavior. This this plays a little differently to the way it used to be. Oh, they hit me. Oh, they hit me again. Oh, was one of them dead? Nice. Oh, I used a light bottle. He hit me again. Okay, now he's just attacking constantly. That makes it easier, actually. Yay! <laughs> Daring dash unlocked. Now, how the hell do I do that? Ah. See, you didn't used to have a triangle to switch weapons button. What it used to be is it was, um while you were blocking, to do a daring dash, while you were blocking, you press triangle, and you would do a dash. Now they've changed it so that if you're running and you block, he does a dash. I have a feeling that's gonna, that's gonna come back to bite me. I'm gonna be trying to run somewhere, and then put my shield up, and now I'm gonna dash off an edge. <laughs> Pearls go this way, Pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn <laughs> and over every hill. Yeah, because Zarok has turned everything into demons. <laughs> Zarok's turned everything into demons and and uh, enemies. Yay, Hall of Heroes! <laughs> I'm gonna get every single chalice, so we're gonna go to the Hall of Heroes after every single level. At least they made you start immediately in the Hall of Heroes. It used to be that when you would first arrive at the Hall of Heroes, it would do this little like and then you go like and appear there, which would take a lot of time, you know, <laughs> and then you'd immediately stop because the gargoyle wants to talk to you. And so there was a lot of waiting in the original. Uh, they've reduced that, which is good. Some of the other chaps waited Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack now. But this guy, yeah, he's cool too. I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Um, yes please. I think it's just money. Yeah. I remember how much it is, but it's not a whole lot. It's like a hundred gold or something. Uh, yeah. The, it's interesting, yeah, those, those two guys, I think those two, and maybe one other, well no, there's like, those two are the, probably the nicest and the chummiest ones. And then you've got a couple who are like, there's one character that's like your love interest. She like flirts with you a lot. And then there's one that's like, 
who who is like truly believes in your quest and everything. But other than that, all the rest of them are like they're all standoffish and like, oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're not at we're at Scarecrow. We can either do Scarecrow Fields or oh wait, if we go this way. Scarecrow Fields or Enchanted Earth. Enchanted Earth has a lot of stuff in it that you can't do until later. So I tend to go Scarecrow Fields before I go to the Enchanted Earth level. So yeah, Scarecrow Fields is a tough one actually. It's one of the harder levels that I remember of the early levels. <laughs> the game gets a lot harder way later, but this is one of the earlier hard levels. Hmm. This is one of those levels with the creepy cutscene at the start. If you're kid. It was way less like straight up evil in the original. It was kind of creepier in the original. Yeah, whenever you pass the scarecrows. Oh, that's right. I forgot the crows are also. Ow! Oh! Oh! He does so much damage. Oh my god. I didn't know they did so much damage to you. Oh! Jesus Christ. He took two life bottles off of me. Oh, fucking crow. <laughs> oh, I don't remember them being that hard. Jesus Christ. Wait, does the, is the, sh the hammer better against them? Uh, it would seem not. I don't remember them being so hard to kill. I remember them releasing crows though. The camera does not help. Dear God, I remember them being so hard to kill. Oh, this, is, this level's gonna be rough if that's how hard they are to kill. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love the music for this. Oh god, I forgot about you guys. Yeah, I gotta... Quickly. Maybe I can't deal with my sword anymore. Yeah, maybe you can't deal with the sword anymore. You can definitely... You can, um... You can break down those... Uh... Those, these things. You used to be able to attack them and they would go down in size. Maybe they don't work like that anymore. No, I don't think it works like that anymore. You can definitely destroy these though. I might need to use fire. I know you could use you could use fire or you could just attack it originally. Oh, what the? Did I not push it that way? Oh, I have to. Okay. What the? What the? What? No, <laughs> that's not how it used to work. Hmm. I don't have to go back that way. Oh. Uh, let's just check the book. What does it say about these guys? These guys are rough. <laughs> Spin to win, it said. Mad farmers. Okay. So yeah, they're just farmer types. So yeah, we gotta be careful of these. Thankfully, these guys stun really easily. Um, yeah, so I think I have to go like this. There we are. There we go. One second, one second, one second. Man, that does. That's so slow now. The hammer is so slow. It's almost useless to me. How slow it is. I might even just use the club. The frick. Yeah, but they have money in them, so you want to burn them. Oh, the music is so good. They've added music to these guys, so that interrupts the music. <laughs> Normal music. I need to come back for that door. 
with the blue uh, thingy. It's just one of these little statue guys. Uh, one second, one second, one second. Let's equip this. I don't believe I can hurt him yet. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Weird. This... This, I think, works a little different. Like, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cool. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Yeah, so the way that works... <laughs> I forgot you had to break the head first. You break the head and then there's like a little imp inside it. And, um... Oh, that's right, that's right. Oh. Oh, I hate bats. In this game. I hate the bats. Let's open this up. No, no, no. Open the friggin'... Open it. <laughs> see, you used to be able to just hit those. Oh, I just gave you the club, I see. Uh, just in case you've run out of club. Uh, one second. Just, oh god, I set myself on fire. Ah! <laughs> ah! Set that on fire. Ugh! It's just one of those little heads. I don't know what those are. Get back here, bat. There we go. I don't know what those are. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Alright, let's use that on there. And, uh, let's not get hit by the windmill. <laughs> I love the music in this game so much. <laughs> That's the thing I think I loved about, like, because I grew up in the PS1 era. PS1 was the first console that you could store a lot more stuff on the game, you know, because there was discs instead of cartridges or whatever. So there's a lot more storage space. So a lot of the storage space ended up getting used for things like cutscenes as well as... Okay, let's, let's not get spin, spun to one. Oh god, there he is. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're ridiculous. I swear they didn't have this much health originally. There's another... There's another Scarecrow. Yeah, let's just bring him round here. Oh, I got hit by the frickin'... <laughs> I got hit by the... By that. I can't see what I'm doing. Ugh. This guy, man. Come through here. Oh, he can't. <laughs> okay. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> you fucking kidding? Those guys are not right. <laughs> They're just wrong. They're bullshit. <laughs> they did ne they definitely did not take that much hitting. Or you could like keep them back with the normal attack. You didn't have to spin to win them yourself. There we go. Damn right. Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're so rough. Those guys are so rough. Okay, we got some more shield. Maybe if I block, maybe that'll stop them spinning? I'm gonna check the... What does this say about them? These straw men spin to win. They have teamed up with the crows to protect their cornfield from the strangers. whom they greet with sharp spinning affection. No. I, I think they're just wrong. <laughs> they're just wrong. Go through here. Okay, there we go. Oh god, I didn't realize they... I didn't realize this one shot at me. Let's go behind him. And then once he... Once we can target him... There we go. There we go. <laughs> Impaired drivers. Imp 
aired drivers. Terrible. Uh, okay. Oh, a brief moment of, like, calm. Oh, where's the scarecrow? I heard something jump. Oh, no, that's the... That's just the noise of the crops. That's right, I forgot about that. Oh. Oh, I wonder if I can just shoot him. Wait, 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 wait. Let's have a look. Oh, it's hard to hit him. Shit. And he released it. Freaking released his crows. Oh my god, all the freaking scarecrows around. So, this is the cr this is the actual cornfield. This is the scary part. Basically, if you go in the cornfield, you get slowed down. But also, oh god. You get slowed down. But also, uh, there's scary stuff in the cornfield that instantly kills you. Uh, let's just kill all the guys who come out of here. Yeah, because you want you want to stand by these and kill all the guys that pop out because uh, they all count towards your chalice. There's a there is a limited amount of guys who come out of here. There isn't it isn't unlimited. <laughs> oh, let's get this actually. Is this the one I think it is? Yes! It's the snake. He kills things for you. And he can go through walls. <laughs> yes, follow me. Follow me, snake man. Where is he? There he is. Okay, he's, he's going around. Kill this guy for me, please. Unfortunately, you can't control the snake man. Oh, there he is. Thankfully, he does a pretty does a pretty good job at killing things. <laughs> yeah, dragon snake buddy. I think that's all the guys I need you to kill. Honestly, I don't know if there are any others. He'll follow me for a little bit, but then he'll stop after a bit. Let's just go over here really quick. Grab a vial. Okay, he's gone. Okay, there might be there might still be some more enemies. Like especially I don't care about these guys. These guys are fine. It's just the scarecrows. Um I don't see any more scarecrows, but there might still be more. Yes! Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, so basically if you want to try and take a shortcut through here, you see you start to see a little uh like trail in the corn coming towards you and uh if that trail gets to you before you get out of the corn uh, <laughs> it's bad news bears we don't yet have the item i need but we can hit in here get out of here bats bats is so frustrating okay don't make me freaking <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just bring it out the crossbow. And there we go. And then, okay, hop on top of that. Uh, my dash, that is. I haven't been using my that. <laughs> my that. Bring this down. This is the combine harvester. I don't have the part yet. You unlock the harvester part soon. I need to come back to that. Do we have enough to get the chalice now, so we don't actually need to do any more? I wonder if you can actually see them in this. Can you see them? I can't see them. But every now and then, the things that kill you that are in the in the cornfields, they show their face. They like jump. Oh, we just saw one. It jumped up and then fell back down. They're scary little demons that are going through the corn, and they uh, insta kill you. Okay, one second. Go back and burn this. <laughs> damn right. Oh, I set myself on fire again. God damn it. <laughs> set this on fire. Yeah, we got health back. It's alright. <laughs> alright, come here, you. Shredded. Okay. I think this is where you're... Oh, that's right. There's a... 
Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, it's still one of these guys. See, that's nonsense. You see how much he just shredded my shield? That's not intended behavior. That's not intended behavior. That is not how they were in the original. Yeah, that's nonsense. That's nonsense. He took off like two thirds of my shield, three quarters of my shield in like a matter of seconds. <laughs> that's absolute nonsense. Okay, let's not die here because I only have one and a bit lives left. That's nonsense. Let's just grab the money, do another rotation. Yeah, it's all like farming equipment and stuff. It's scary. Ah, I forgot how this works. Uh, oh, I forgot. No! Damn it. I'm so nearly dead. I'm so dead. Heal, please. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I so nearly gotta get like a level game over thingy. Yeah, when you run out of health, you have to start the level again, so... Alright, well... <laughs> that's why they give- that's why the life works the way it does. Okay, let's... let's not fall in. Oh. Okay, oh god. I think you have to duck down below this one. Oh no, it's just that the- the lower section, you can't get hit, okay. Oh yeah, okay. And that's the crazy thing is that you go through all this, all these like functions, and um, if you go if you go beyond this one, you get the harvester part. Yep. Oh god. Okay, let's just let's just make it through. Ow! <laughs> that's one of the hardest ones to dodge. I usually don't have a trouble though. I don't have a trouble. Don't have a problem. Don't have trouble. Okay, back to the harvester. We could have actually just ended the level back there, but I want to get the chalice. So you have to go, oh, it reset this, but that's okay, I think. Oh no, I don't actually need to do that again. Go here, use the harvester part. Activates this old spidery thing. <laughs> yeah. And it basically just carves away through the corn for us. Now uh, let's just get some health back. This is the other reason I wanted to do this. The loot, <laughs> health, uh, money, chalice. <laughs> the harvester fell in. Yeah, chalice, money, <laughs> maybe some sh nope, snow shield. Okay. I thought we might also get some shield, but apparently not. All right. Well, we got max health now. <laughs> we got filled up our health. Okay. Let's just. Oh god. Let's go quick. I should use the dash more often. Oh, I always forget. Ow! Oh, I, the shield got destroyed. That's all right. Let's just equip the bronze shield. That's why you have multiple. Oh. Wow, that took a lot off. <laughs> I love the music so much. Okay. So we just go through this one instead, and uh, we're at the end. Pumpkin Gorge, dead ahead. The nursery to gather Mia's favorite side dish. Step <laughs> inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. <laughs> Dad was looking directly at us for some reason. His head was like twisted round. <laughs> oh, Gargoyle didn't have anything to say to us. But we've got the third guy now. Uh, what's this guy got to say? Fortescue, this guy always insults us. Arrow magnet, <laughs> what are you doing back here? <laughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. How I pity the people of Galomere that their fate should once again be in the hands <laughs> of a chump like you. 
Still, <laughs> I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. <laughs> take my sword He's like, Ugh. and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. <laughs> you know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. <laughs> Yeah, so we get his broadsword. Yeah, so we've now got a much better sword, and it, unfortunately, it um it has charge, that uh makes it more powerful, and it just gets used while you've got it equipped. So as you're holding it, it goes down, <laughs> which really sucks. I think I still I still use it. I think it's still better even without charge than your short sword. To use it to its full potential, you have to keep it charged and you have to pay for charge via uh, the little stores so yeah but yeah so we've unlocked uh, pumpkin gorge and I believe yeah from yeah, we can't go straight from pumpkin gorge we go back to uh, Skikora fields we can also go to the uh, the sleeping village we have technically got three levels we can get to uh, we can go to now but I usually do them in a pretty particular order I go to Pumpkin Gorge straight away. So this is the next one I'll probably be doing in the next episode. That is another boss. That one's cool. I liked, I've liked. i always liked the Pumpkin Gorge part. It has sort of like menacing music that I like. Most of, every level has awesome music. Uh, Sleeping Village is one of those ones that's... This one is cool, but it's rough. Because the enemies... Most of the enemies in the game are the villagers who you don't want to hurt because they are good guys, you know? And they don't give you any chalice either. They don't give you chalice souls. In fact, they deduct chalice souls, if I'm not mistaken. So if you kill a single villager, you can't get the chalice. I think that's how it works. I think. So you have to avoid the villagers. But they're like running at you, trying to hit you and hurt you. <laughs> and you just gotta like pa uh, pacifistically like run past them. But it's a really cool level. Really cool level. I want to just keep playing, but I must stop. I'm recording this like way later than I normally would because I had to do stuff all day. Uh, <laughs> I haven't eaten in a while. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I hope you're enjoying Medieval so far. I can't wait to play the rest of this game. It plays a little differently from the original, but I'm still enjoying the shit out of it. The music is like half of what I love about it. Just, oh. This is what, this game is what made me love like gothic stuff and like skeletons and and this kind of fantasy darker fantasy ah <laughs> oh, i just love it just love everything about it whatever the case thank you so much for watching and until next time